All right, everybody, how's it going? What's up? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are all doing well. I really hope that. And welcome to today's video, which is on why Chelsea Football Club are currently the bookmakers' favourites to sign football world superstar Jadon Sancho. That's right, Chelsea are apparently leading the race to secure the young Englishman's signature and there's a few reasons for that which I'll be going through in this video today. Of course there are other clubs that could sign him and I'll be talking about those clubs as well and why still he's more likely to go to Chelsea Football Club. So there's some interesting stuff in there and before I get into it I want to remind you guys there quickly to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet done so yet please do sub hit the bell and notifications icon because that really is important. Why not like the video to help me out? All right let's Let's get into it. Okay, Jaden Sancho, superstar, absolute madman this season, posting incredible offensive numbers. I've actually done a deep dive stat video on him recently. I'll put that in a card above my head now. Do go and watch that after you watch this video, of course. But yes, 12 goals, 12 assists. The first, the youngest player rather, to reach 25 goals in the Bundesliga at just the age of 19, breaking records. Dude is on something at the moment. He's absolutely killing it. One of the best prospects in world football right now. To be honest, if you look at, say, like the three best superstars, young superstars in world football at the moment, like the biggest and hottest prospects, it would probably be Kylian Mbappe at 21 and both Erling Haaland and Jadon Sancho at 19 years old. They'd probably be the holy trinity at the moment. Dortmund are absolutely preparing themselves for the sale of Jadon Sancho this summer, so all the elite European clubs around Europe are rubbing their hands together and it's going to be a slugfest for this absolute superstar. But as things stand, the bookmakers make Chelsea favourites to sign Jadon Sancho. There's a bunch of reasons for that and I'm about to get into them, but also other clubs like Liverpool, of course the champions of Europe and champions elect of the Premier League this season are also up there. Manchester United are also. Manchester City are somewhere like a little bit further down. I think he probably wouldn't go back to Manchester City. And of course there's the Spanish elite giants, but I think, and it's speculated, that he does indeed want a return to the Premier League. So you're talking Man United, Liverpool, Chelsea, probably. Let's be real, he's not going to Tottenham or Arsenal. And I'll tell you why. It's a perfect segue for me to talk about my first reason why Chelsea are favourites to sign Jadon Sancho. Jadon Sancho is a Chelsea fan. Now makes sense why he probably wouldn't want to go to Tottenham or Arsenal. That and also Tottenham wouldn't spend the money and Arsenal are going to finish mid-table. Yes indeed, Jadon Sancho is a self-proclaimed Chelsea fan. Once interviewed about a year ago, he did say, I can't lie, growing up and today I am a Chelsea fan. And also, of course, there is old tweets on his Twitter account when he talked about when Chelsea won the Champions League. Champions of Europe, we know who we are, we are Chelsea. So there's not so much to be said in it in modern football, you can support one club and move to another club because it means more for your career and it's in your best interests, more on that in a moment, but it is something to be said, if it's your boyhood club, if you love that club, then already you've got inclinations, especially if they can actually pay you a lot of money and the club you support are a big club like Chelsea and they can give you a big contract. Strike one. Right, let's get into the second factor. Chelsea are currently coached by club legend Frank Lampard, superstar footballer in his day, and one that Jadon Sancho grew up idolizing. Sancho recently came out in an interview and said he idolized Frank Lampard and Didier Drogba growing up. It's a player that he constantly watched and loved watching. Frank Lampard currently coaches Chelsea, so the club that he supports is now coached by one of the players that he loved watching growing up that helped develop his own game. You know, already that's a match made in heaven in terms of a marriage of factors that would make you want to move to a club. Next up, he's from London and wants a move back to the Premier League. He actually grew up in the same ends as Tammy Abraham and is incredibly good friends of him, as well as being very, very close friends indeed with Callum hudson Adoy. So this boy club who he supports is now being managed by the player who he idolized growing up which have players and squads of all his mates who he grew up with and he's really close with. See where I'm going here? In fact, regarding Tammy Abraham, of course Tammy made his debut for the England first team when he scored that goal and he spoke about playing with Jadon Sancho for England in that game. Abraham said, to be at Wembley together is just a dream come true for us, he said. I remember playing with him back in the park a couple of years back. 
a couple of years back, they're playing in the park together. That's mental when you think about it. Every summer we'd have little competitions and he's now just assisted me and I've scored my first England goal. It's crazy to think about it. I know where he wants to put the cross. He's an assist man. He loves tallying his assists. So I just knew I had to beat my man and get in front of him. Yep, they've been playing football together in the ends for a long, long time. They know how each other play. Oh my God, Jaden Sancho just come to Chelsea, throw more assists in for Tammy Abraham. So let's just stack up all the sort of tangible factors we know here. Boyhood Chelsea fan, idolized Lampard growing up, really close friends with Abraham and Hudson Adoy from south of London and basically from London, probably wants to go back to London. Speculating, but probably. And Chelsea have the money, and there's a vacancy for a star man there. Remember, the Eden Hazard money still remains, and they're looking for that replacement. And more and more and more as last season and now this season progresses, Jadon Sancho is absolutely capable of filling the void of Eden Hazard, and he's 10 years younger. It just seems perfect. Sancho would know he'll get the money, he'll get to return to London, play with his friends, play at his boyhood club, like I said, get the contract, get the playing time, know he's going to be the superstar man. It all seems perfect in terms of narrative, right? So let's talk a little bit more about the situation. Sure, Chelsea might pay the money, give him the contract, give him the role of the superstar. Like I said, for his perspective, playing with his mates at his boyhood club under Frank Lampard, it all seems nice packaged in a narrative, but football doesn't always work like that. The fact remains, Chelsea probably do need to secure top four to secure this transfer. Jaden Sancho is an elite player and probably will want to be playing in the Champions League. To be honest, in many ways, this probably is the same for Manchester United. Manchester United will almost certainly offer him whatever he wants in terms of a contract, for they are the richest club in the world. So they will give Sancho loads and loads of money, probably more than Chelsea, probably a longer contract, more image rights. Do you know, do you know what I mean? It's like a better lucrative deal because that's what they can offer. Now, if Manchester United make it into the Champions League through the top four or winning the Europa League, and Chelsea don't, suddenly the landscape's changed. Suddenly Manchester United might look like a more attractive move. And although they're in a bit more of a rocky space, they, are, they have bought well, you know, if Rashford stays, they've got Bruno Fernandes, they've bought some good defenders, they could be developing something and Sancho might find that appealing. But for me, he still, in my eyes, would prefer the Chelsea move, provided Chelsea get Champions League too. So say they win the Europa League, Chelsea finish fourth. So they're both in the Champions League, I can still see him choosing Chelsea personally. So let's talk about Liverpool Football Club. Obviously the best team in the world right now, probably, I'd say. Absolutely would be an attractive mood. So if he looks at his career and just as a sort of career move, Liverpool could be very, very attractive, provided he has assurances that he will start. Because at the moment, what makes Liverpool so good is how their front three play together. Firmino is kind of an untouchable in terms of how he acts as a catalyst for the wide forwards. Obviously Salah has been very, very good. Mane's probably been even better over the last 18 months or so. So it would be incredibly difficult to break into that front three, not just because of the numbers they post, but how they play together. This could only potentially be possible if Salah moves to say Barcelona or Real Madrid, who he absolutely could do. He's that level of player and he has been linked with a move to Spain before as well. Liverpool might see that as a fine thing. They might make loads of money off Salah and then they'll get a player a lot younger in Jadon Sancho to take his place and also can post the same incredible numbers. It really depends on the player's ambition here. Like it's all very well me posting the narrative about this sort of romance of him going to Chelsea and getting that move to his boyhood club. But really that doesn't mean anything when the money starts talking and the career opportunities start emerging, you know? Still, like I say, the bookmakers make Chelsea favourites to sign Jadon Sancho at the moment. And throughout this video, I've explained different reasons that would basically tell you why that's the case. Provided Chelsea get top four and they do have the money to spend, I can genuinely see this move happening. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think it all hangs in the balance depending on whether Chelsea qualify for the Champions League or not next season? Do you think they will sign Jadon Sancho? Do you think there's a chance he will actually go back to Manchester City or just end up at Liverpool? Or who knows, will money talk and will he go to Manchester United? 
get down in the comment section below let me know your thoughts and opinions on this player if you have enjoyed the content today guys please do subscribe to football therapy remember to like the video if you have enjoyed it follow me on instagram at football yannick and on twitter as well that's it for me guys you lot enjoy the football and i will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chalk in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble i only love this paper sorry i don't I